Hello everybody, I'm SJF95 Fighter and welcome back to South Park and the Stick of Truth. Now we continue on where we left off last time, where we beat the shit out of kids with Jesus. On second, just gonna grab all their stuff. And yeah. Just making sure that I have everything. Because I feel like I'm playing... Uh... No disrespect, but I don't want to be seen with you. Oh, fine, fuck you too. This game reminds me a lot of about um oh was what yeah Skyrim, because um especially when you play those kind of games when you just start up you just kind of take everything you can get. All right, here's the school. Very cool. And then here is another thingo. Yeah. Let's check what's going on. Yeah. <clears throat> I am glad that you have found Christ, my son. Be ye ever vigilant, for he may be found in the unlikeliest places in times of need. I find him in my, I found him in my chemist, in my chimney once. He says, priest, I hate priests that still talk or try to talk in the very old style English, like, uh, Spiel, not Spielberg, um, fucking what's his name? Shakespeare. Anyway. Conspiracy analyst. How do you know if you're being followed? Invest Divining devices. Who to trust? Parents in on it? Ah, I didn't mean to post this. How do I delete it? <laughs> uh, like, uh, like, tweak. Jimbo, don't think you're going to have a easy time finding these bees. I told you about you, kid. Remember those bees? Remember those bastards will only come running if you're offering something they can't resist? Oh, that's right. You'll have to use some of the items I gave you to tempt them out. Alright, that's good to know for later. As for right now... Alright. That is right. I've gotta go... and find Crank's house. I can house. swear I heard a voice coming up from the behind that building over there? It sucked. Yeah. Poor fighters. See, is this it? <gasps> what the f- <gasps> What the fuck, dude? We got this yesterday, but that was with a woman. That was just worse. Huh. Oh no, I can't fart yet. And not even a little one will work. Gee whiz, whistle bitches! Alright, uh, but it's gotta be nearby. Neighborhood. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one. No, this isn't it, but I think I know which one this is, though. Yes, it's the home of the, um, the geeky boy in this school. Oh no, I didn't mean to hit you, Butters. I'm so sorry. I was just talking to my audience. I wasn't paying attention. Greetings, human. While I would prefer to explore strange worlds with you, it is illogical to abandon the bridge until the captain returns. Uh... The captain is my Bob. I can't go outside when she's not home. Uh, but the Federation has an urgent mission for you. A tricorder okay. was left behind on the frozen planet of Hoth. Only it's not a tricorder, it's my dad's iPad too. I need you to beam down to the Omicron sector and locate that device before it falls into Klingon hands. I think it fell out of my backpack near the church. Okay. Did not need half of that. Some very cool stuff here. 
I'm not that big into Star Trek, but I saw some stuff that's some possible uh, Star Wars references, and um, I think it was that brought up in Battlestar Galactica. Honestly, if someone who is a fan of Battlestar Galactica and, uh, and saying that I am just talking out of my ass, I don't know what I'm talking about, please let me know in the comments, because I really don't know. You looking for Craig? Yeah, here. Well, he can't play. He's in detention. Something about flipping off the principal. Oh no, Craig's in jail. We gotta go tell the Grand Wizard. Oh no, that's bad. Let's get to him quickly. Once I got beat up behind that house. Jeez. I'm actually faster at Facebook messaging than I am at speaking. Here, this will just go a lot faster if I friend you. Jeez, I can't believe that there's actually people like that in real life. Sorry, but we can't be friends until you have more friends. He's fine. Let's let's get to Koopa Keep quickly. Okay, there we go. Well, soldiers reporting for duty, Grand Wizard. Nice work, douchebag. Now all my men are here and ready to fight for the. Wait a minute. Where's Feldspar? Where's my level twelve thief? Uh, hey, yeah, where's Craig? He's in detention. What? He flipped off the principal, so he's in detention again! Oh my god. Jesus Christ. If they've locked away our thief in detention, we have no hope of getting back to Stick of Truth. We have to break him out. Ah, no way, man! Last time we broke Craig out of detention, we all got in trouble! Getting into trouble is a risk that Douchebag is willing to take! You have to break out our thief, Douchebag. But don't worry, I will not let you go unprepared. I'm going to teach you how to use magic. Meet me at the training barracks. It's time for you to learn. Dragon Shout. He says they're referencing Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, and Skyrim. You fight well, douchebag. But to truly succeed in combat, you must learn to harness the power of your fight. Ah, oh, Jesus Farting Christ. on an opponent yes. at precisely the right time <laughs> is key to battle. I shall show you how it's done, but first, you must take the gentleman's oath. You must promise to never, ever fart on anyone's bow. I promise. Okay? Farting on an opponent is necessary, but farting on someone's bows is not cool. Mm -mm. Do you understand? I understand. Right. I just took the oath. Let's begin your training. To conjure dragon shouts, you must first clear your mind and take in a deep breath through your butthole. Like so. Okay. Then let it rumble inside you and dragon shout. All right. I'll show you one more time. Suck it in. Let it rumble. Dragon shout. Now you ready? Dragon shout. All right. Speed it in. Find the frequency. Hold. Hold. And there we go. My God, that was incredible. A man could live a hundred years and never again witness a spell so boisterous. <laughs> could it be that the prophecies are true? Could it be that the dragonborn has come at last in our hour of need? Now let us try your skill on a real opponent. Hey, hey, Princess Kenny. <laughs> could you come here a sec? <laughs> Shh, don't time. Okay. Just real quick, Princess Kenny. Sir Deucebag wants to show you something. All right, you two. Spar! Sir Douchebag, show Princess Kenny the magical powers I have taught you! Alrighty. Oh, I have to go up close. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking hilarious! <laughs> Dude, that was fucking awesome! <laughs> oh, oh, that was good cool. job, Sir Douchebag, that was sweet. Thanks, Princess Kenny. That's all for now. Thank you, asshole. You're an asshole. Okay. Okay. But, dude, seriously, remember, don't ever do that on someone's boss, okay? Seriously. You have mastered Dragon Shout. From now on, it will be easier for you. Alrighty, well, that's great to know that that is all going to be easier for me now. Kenny will assist you on your quest, douchebag. Now go get Craig while I rest and relax upon my throne. Alrighty. I'll go and change my partner to Kenny for the rest of this video. Is it still weird how Kenny is cross-dressing as a girl? Although, I had seen the episode and it was quite fun. Off we go, off we go on a great adventure to school. Right, let's speed this up a little bit. 
Oh, uh, there was one thing here I need to do. Now that I can do it. The fire. Yeah. There we go. Alright. Now, off to school. Not to these guys. Oh, there's a bag there. Go. Excuse me. Oh, I thought you wanted something for me. Die. It's cool. All right, before I go in. Uh, where did the die go? Ah. Oh. oh, this is it. But no, I'm just going to... Oh, Jesus. No, die. Default. There we go. Oh, what did that girl send me? There. This is way easy... Way easier than talking. Anyway, I feel that you and I are, have a real connection. Jesus. No, thank you. <clears throat> My class is healer. You can't just change it to blacksmith, Cartman. Don't fight it, Token. You were born blacksmith. I just look at you and I think blacksmith. You know? Not, not sure why. Jesus, Cartman, you are such a racist bastard. Alright, let's see. Oh, there he is. Craig, Craig, this is detention, okay? Stop looking at your watch because you're here for three hours, buddy, okay? Whatever. Now, don't think your friends are going to come bust you out this time, Craig. My name is Feldspar, and I'm a level 6 thief, and the humans will soon rescue me from this tower. No, your name is fucking Craig Tucker, and you're in detention! Now start doing your homework! Okay, I've got all the doors sealed, and I've got hallway monitors working overtime! Nobody's gonna save your ass today, Craig, okay? Alright. Can I go in? Oh, I can go for the front door. Excuse me, but school is out, and no students allowed on the premises until tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Mm. Here we go, right past I warn you, stay away from the doors. One step towards those doors, and I will be forced to write you up. Oh, what? You mean these doors? You are in reach of school law and must be punished. Moo, mm moo. -hmm. Well, she's fine then. I'm Rochambeau you for that door access. Rochambeau! Hiya! Let's see. What we got here? Alright. Here we go. Oh no, rat! Every time, they keep on. Every time Kenny dies, the rats always come and rip apart his body. That was a pretty funny gag in the Officer show. Down. Officer down. Officer down. Send back up. I repeat, officer down. All hallway monitors to the right hallway. Oh god damn it! Here they come. They're gonna get you, Craig. You're not getting out of detention. I'll be out of here in ten minutes. <laughs> Right, Kenny. You are absolutely right. We're gonna have to continue the rest of this in the next episode. Sorry, that's all the time we have for today. But if you like this series so much, give it, leave a like and a comment. Subscribe today if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next video. Stay awesome. Bye.